Five days ago, I suffered a catastrophic failure, and it was the best thing that could have happened to me. Let me explain. Last Wednesday, today's Monday, I don't know when you're watching this. Last Wednesday, I was trying for a max lift. Lately, I've been trying to lift a little heavier. I haven't really done it in years, something that I enjoy doing. It's just, it's something that in 2024, I really want to get back to. And I feel like that represents fitness for me. I, I enjoy the challenge. It's very measurable, it appeals to me on a lot of levels. So I'm going for a max lift on Wednesday and it was a deadlift. Those of you that lift weights, you know, deadlifts are not to be taken lightly, pun intended. And I failed. I was going for what would have been a personal record for me in my 40s post-retirement. I once lifted much heavier back on a deployment in Iraq when I was, I was a bit heavier. <laughs> But um, this would have been kind of my current, my current phase of life personal record. And I was jacked up to do it. I, you know, I took my supplements. I ate right the night before. I got my rest and I failed. I went for a lift that was getting into one rep max territory. So right in that neighborhood of where I was about to get close to my max. And I pulled a muscle in my lower back. And I had to take stock. Two things happened the minute I failed. Number one, the wisdom of age, if you will, kicked in. And that workout was over. That goal was gone, at least for that day. My new goal was to spend the rest of the workout, which I had about half of my workout left, spend the rest of the workout stretching, warming up, getting that muscle. I believe it was an erector spinae, if my biology serves me, getting that muscle back into the fight so that I was not laid up for weeks, that I could recover in days. In that, I was fairly successful. So number one, quit on the goal, revise, update my priors for you stat nerds, and come up with a new goal. My new goal was, hey, let's not be crippled for the better part of a month from this. The second thing that happened was I embraced the failure. And that's another thing that's come with the wisdom of age and with reading and with researching and embracing a growth mindset. I would not have always have done this. I embraced the failure and started evaluating. What did I do wrong? Now, was it a failure of effort? Absolutely not. I was geeked to hit that number. And I won't tell you what it was because I'm sure half of the guys out there are like... But it was a good number for me. And I was pumped up to do it and I was prepared to do it, or so I thought. So was it a failure of effort? Absolutely not. It was a failure of planning and preparation and allowance for my middle age. Let's go there. What did I need to do that I hadn't done? What do I need to do now when I reattempt that, because it is going to happen again. Not this week, not that dumb. I need to stretch more. I am 47 years old, going on 48. I am now in my late 40s, can no longer claim mid 40s. So I'm past 47 and a half. Statistically, it's late 40s. I need to stretch more. I need to understand that I'm not 21 and I can't just jump in the gym and start throwing steel around right off the bat. I know that. I just know it a little bit better now. I'm going to start using a weight belt again, something I haven't done in years. My loving wife is going to go out today and grab me one from the sporting goods store. I'm going to incorporate that into my workouts when I do max lifts from now on. But the larger lesson there is not the, the things that I need to do to correct that failure. The larger lesson is I've learned to love the learning process. And if, if there's something that I can pass on to people watching, it's that. You have to love the learning process. You have to love the grind. What you're going to find when you do that, there are going to be people around you who don't share that. 
If you find yourself ad adopting a learning process, adopting a growth mindset, and loving pushing the envelope, loving failure and celebrating failure, and you find yourself surrounded by people who don't share that with you, and you will, run, get away from them. If they're family members, give them their due. If they're lifelong friends, just play it by ear. But if they're people that you're choosing to surround yourself with, I didn't end the sentence with a preposition, grandma, there was a comma there. If, if you find yourself surrounded by people who don't embrace a growth mentality, find a new group of people. Go out and seek people that share your mindset. And the mindset is this. Don't mourn the setback. Celebrate it. The setback, the failure shows you where the weakness was. I celebrate the fact that last Wednesday, I tried to put up a number that was, at least for that day, beyond my capability, and I failed catastrophically. I injured myself in a way that could have been really, really bad. And I love that. Because I found the weakness. I located the short in the system and I turned around and attacked it. I'm ready for it next time. It's not going to take me by surprise again. So I'll leave you with that. Celebrate your weaknesses. Celebrate your failures. Seek them out. And take that one step further. I would say if you were in a place of complacency or mediocrity, that can be very difficult to identify. Nobody looks around and goes, oh, I'm being mediocre right now. For the most part, people look around and think, yeah, I'm killing it. I'm succeeding every day. My friends, if you're succeeding every day, allow me to suggest that you aren't pushing the envelope, that you are not finding the limits of your capabilities. And this is a lesson that I have to relearn. I definitely went through kind of a, a treading water phase here recently in a lot of different areas of my life. And I had a failure recently in a professional endeavor that I'll talk about at another time. I'm still working through that. Those are sometimes more difficult to identify. It's easy to sit there and say, oh crap, I just pulled a muscle in my back. Time to drop the weight and make sure I don't kill myself. But it's much more difficult to say I failed in a professional endeavor. Let me address that failure and figure out what happened there. I'll talk about that another time, but just leave you with this. Embrace the failure, celebrate when you find your limits and push past them, either successfully or unsuccessfully, because when you find the limit, you can address it. When you find the short in the system, you can address that, whether that's a short in your physical system, as I found, or a short in your professional system, which I also found. You can figure out how to fix that. And if you're not failing, I would suggest that you need to examine whether or not you're pushing your capabilities, whether or not you're learning as well as you can be. So get out there, push your capabilities, learn through failure and addressing the failure. That is my challenge to you today. Semper Fidelis, and I'll talk to you later.